Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on how to program your HMI. In this session, we will focus on the bit control window and word control window, which are similar to Windows. Let's start by opening our project in the display. I have created a project to explain how these functions work. First, let's take a look at what we have. In the display, you can see multiple interactive buttons, meters, and a bar chart. To keep things simple, we'll focus on the main area of the windows. Click on the component and select the window. You can choose between the bit control window or the word control window. This will open a pop-up window where you can change the function later if needed. The trigger bit will be the bit you decide to take action. Keep it in the pop-up. Let's go through this step by step. Select the pop-up window ID and choose which window you want to pop up. Click OK and then choose the size of the window. I recommend making it a decent size since a small window might not be very visible. Once it's in place, let's bring a bit set with an indicator light. Go to the component, select the one you want, and add the address that was placed in the trigger bit address from the pop-up window earlier. Once that's done, place it in the display. We already have one set up here, so I'll show you by clicking Offline Simulation. Once it pulls up, I'll click the button to activate the pop-up window. Now, let's go back to the pop-up window from earlier. Select Change Window ID. Here, you can add an address, and whatever number you select will be the window that pops up. For example, on your right, you can see multiple windows open. Add a component numeric value input to be precise. Then, select the same address you have from the pop-up window and set the integer digits to five, since many other displays have five digits instead of four. When clicking Offline Simulation, you will be able to add the number in the numeric value and press the button. It will pop up whatever display you want. Impressive, right? Next, let's go back to the pop-up window and select the window control bar. Here, select the close button and title. You can add whatever title you want for the display that will be open. Close this and open offline simulation again. Now, you will see the title at the top and a close button if you don't want to see the window. You can also press the button you use to open it to close it. Heading back, let's select the variable pop-up window position. Set up an address that is not being utilized, and it will pop up at the address you selected as X and the continuation of that address as Y meaning in the coordinate plane, you can add some values to have it displayed in that location. Go to the component and add the numeric value input. Be careful to add the proper address in the control buttons, then place it in the display. Hit offline simulation and there we have it. Select whatever numbers you like to position the pop-up window. Finally, let's set the pop-up window size. Exit the offline simulation and head back to the pop-up window. Select variable window size. The address you set will have the window width and the next address will be the height. Go back to the component, add numeric input or set a slider, establish the correct address and select the width and height. Once this is added, click offline simulation and modify the size by choosing the height and width. That's all for the bit control window. Utilizing the word control window is very similar. The only difference is that the address used to execute the function is a word address instead of a bit address. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.